Hello, I'm Gabe O'Malley, and I'm presenting research towards an understanding of stochastic differentiable neural architecture search. Stochastic differentiable NAS methods use the continuous relaxation scheme popularized by DARTs, but use the architecture weights to actually sample an operation on each edge for each training batch. We ask how and why different sampling methods give rise to different outcomes for our search. To this end, we've defined three different recently released uh, NAS algorithms by the methods used to sample, as well as calculate the architecture weight gradient. The original implementations of these algorithms also include or do not some other design components, which we have experimentally ablated. These components are bi-level training, which uh, means alternately training the shared model weights on the training data and the architecture weights on the validation data, and resource constraints, which is regularization based on a differentiable estimate of the operation computational cost. In order to evaluate these methods, we use NAS Bench 201, a recently developed tabular benchmark data set for NAS. We report the final testing accuracy for an architecture search using two methods sampling 100 architectures, evaluating the validation accuracy for each, and then using a shared, using a shared weight model, and then selecting the top architecture, or just taking the highest probability operation at each edge and testing the resulting model, which we call the expected architecture. We also report the Spearman correlation of the validation accuracy from the shared weight model and tabular test accuracy as a measure of the algorithm's ability to approximate train from scratch test accuracy using the shared weight model. Viewing these final test accuracy results, we see that SNAS demonstrates the top performance on NAS Bench 201 with the sampled architecture accuracy actually surpassing all of the NAS algorithms tested by the authors of the benchmark. The results show bi-level training offering a slight improvement in performance, but nearly doubling the search time across the board uh, with resource constraints appearing to be generally ineffective. Although we see the highest scores uh, being sampled architectures, it, it doesn't actually seem to result in higher accuracy for all algorithms. And exploring the correlation results can help explain why this may be the case. So what we're looking at isn't a traditional correlation plot as each point actually represents a sample of 100 architectures with the correlation plotted on the y-axis and the mean test accuracy of the sample plotted on the x-axis, which uh, allows us to evaluate the algorithms both by the ability to find high-performing architectures and the ability to approximate the relative performance of candidate architectures. Uh, now, this is actually, in theory, the purpose of using a shared weight model, is it's a way to cheaply approximate the relative train from scratch performance of candidate architectures. Um, but only SNAS actually seems to consistently demonstrate the ability to fulfill this purpose. So overall, SNAS has outperformed the other algorithms across all metrics. Um, and the only difference actually between GDAS and SNAS is that SNAS does not actually sample discrete architectures while searching, which suggests that this is responsible for the gap in performance. The resource constraint appeared to be ineffective, um, but this type of regularization is very dependent on the particularities of the search space. And so we uh, do not believe that this result would be generalizable to other search spaces. Bi-level optimization, on the other hand, is less directly linked to the search space, but it still could be the case that the simplicity of the search space prevented it from making much of a difference. Um, but an alternative explanation could be that the stochastic nature of these algorithms actually uh, avoided the search from getting stuck in poor local minima, even without bi-level optimization. And finally, if we go slightly beyond the figures shown previously and examine the learning curves for architecture searches, including the tabular test accuracy of the expected architecture at each epoch, it becomes clear that the architecture weights converge about a quarter of the way into um, the uh, training of the shared model weights. So future stochastic differential NAS algorithms could potentially be designed to exploit this property to accelerate training. 